Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Chaos Linux. It's a lean KDE distribution. It is a Linux distribution built from scratch. It's independent and its focus is on Qt and the KDE desktop environment. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. We start off on the website, which is chaosx.us. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. And it basically states right here that you've got Chaos, a lean KDE distribution. It is an independent distribution. And it's focused on QT and KDE. Up top here, you've got home, about, news, download, documentation, packages, bugs, KCP, and then the forum. And then down here, latest builds, goals, limited repos. And then, of course, if you want to donate. Now, Chaos does this really interestingly, okay? They've got a little scroll down here that lets you know what's going on. And the scroll basically states that it's KDE and QT focused, which we've already talked about. All is built for best integration with KDE and QT. So they're not going to be mixing a lot of different environments. It's got elegant simplicity. It's got simple goals. Independent decisions bring the power of Plasma 5 to the forefront. Splitting of packages is kept to a minimum. The primary focus is on packaging, using the powerful Pac-Man as a package manager. And the repository layout is really simple. And every package in every repository is built by and for chaos. So you're not going to be pulling from other repositories for other distributions. These packages have been built specifically for this operating system. So if we scroll down a little bit more, it says Chaos follows the latest innovations, always shipping the most up-to-date there is available for the Plasma desktop. And down here, you've got kind of a list, KDevelop, KSystem Log, Print Manager, Sweeper, KWallet Manager, KTimer. So it sticks in the Plasma desktop environment, okay? And then, of course, you can get mirror status. And then over here, it talks about Plasmoids, Midma Dark, Chaos Wallpapers. You can visit the gallery page for screenshots. It's got a video showcase and instructional videos how to set your system up if you see it a certain way. And then down here, it kind of has the idea, the goal, and the target. The idea behind Chaos is to create a tightly integrated rolling and transparent distribution for the modern desktop. Built from scratch with a very specific focus. Focus on KDE, QT, and the x86-64. Plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and applications. Its goals, all work is geared toward packaging, not developing new tools or applications. There is no goal to make the most possible software available. Chaos will stay limited in the size of the repositories and will work on quality instead of quantity. That goal makes it clear. A large user base is not what is intended or expected. And its target users are people who have tried many different operating systems, distributions, desktop environments, and have found that they prefer a distribution that uses all of its own available resources to work on one DE. And that's what they're trying to do with the KDE Plasma desktop here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to zip away from their web page and go over to the desktop. Now, if you download Chaos OS... Throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine and boot it up. This is the screen you're met with. As you can tell, they've got one panel. It's over here on the right. And you are welcomed with a welcome screen. And it just basically states, thanks for trying chaos. In need of a password file or package list? Want to learn more about the projects? Please find the list below. You've got install chaos. You've got a guide. You've got your forums, documentation, and donating to the project. That's your main. And then if you go to passwords, it kind of just lets you know here, username root, password root, username live, password live. Then about. This kind of covers some of the things we've already discussed over on their webpage. But it just has a lot of information here. And if you download it and give it a test drive, I suggest you read through it. And right here is the package list. This shows you all the packages that are presently installed on the OS. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the main and I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. As you can see, like I said, it's got a beautiful desktop. If you wanted to change that wallpaper, you could right click. And once those have loaded up, I just want to pick something a little different. I think I'll go with that and apply. And that will work for me. Now, first thing I want to do is show you how package management is handled. And it is through Pac-Man. And right here, you can see that have updates available. Everything from Blue Devil all the way down to system settings. 
I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And let's go look for Octopi over here. So we will go Octopi. And there's Octopi. Let's go ahead and open that up. And for those of you who are not familiar with Octopi, it kind of sort of has a synaptic package manager type feel. And you've got core, main, and apps. Those are the repositories you have. And those will sync when you open. It says core is synced, main is synced, and apps are synced. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. And this right here will give you a list of things that are installed and not installed. But you can do searches. You can go from accessories, KDE system, all the way down here to Xorg video drivers. But let's say you were looking for something like OBS Studio. OBS Studio pops up. All you would have to do is click on it. And if you come down here, it says one package, one selected. Click on the little arrow next to one and you can click install and it would install OBS Studio. Same thing with something like Caden Live. When it brings it up, you click on it, come down here and click install. And there is a lot of software available. There's GIMP. You can click on it and then, of course, click install. But you do have to remember, all of the applications that are available are coming directly from a repository and they have been made for this OS or designed for this OS. So you're not going to have something that just doesn't fit the operating system. Everything's going to look integrated. Everything's going to look like it belongs there. I think that is definitely an awesome thing to have. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of Octopi. Now you've got one panel over here. It does have date and time right here. It has your notification area or your pop-up area. It's got KDE Connect, Night Color Control, Clipboard, Lock Key Status, Internet, Language, USB, Battery Power, Sound, and of course Pac-Man, and then your pop-out terminal. Let's see if they have HTOP installed. If they don't, let's see if they have top. They do have top. At present, I have about two gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. We are using about 548 megabytes at rest with just this terminal open. So that's pretty light for a KDE environment, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And if we come up to the top of the panel, you have sticky notes right here. You have a calculator. You've got your two different desktops. Then you have your welcome screen, which we already looked at. And then you have the Falcon web browser. Let's open this up and take a peek. And when it opens up, it's got a speed dial page. Right down here, you've got Chaos Welcome Forum, IRC, YouTube channel, Vimeo, WebGL, Falcon information, and then, of course, Google Search. Out of the box, your default search engine is DuckDuckGo. And if we go over here and click on this and go to About Falcon, it lets you know right here it's application version 3.1.0, QT Web Engine version 5.15.2, and then down here it's got Mozilla, Apple WebKit, Falcon, and Chrome, and Safari. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, if you wanted to do a search on DuckDuckGo, let's put in something like eBuzz Central and hit enter. Those pop up quite quickly. And you got eBuzz Central YouTube, eBuzz Central Patreon. So that's pretty good, quick, fast search engine there. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up. Let's go ahead and close out of Falcon. Now let's take a look at the file manager, which is Dolphin. Dolphin opens up. I really like the theme that they're using here. A nice, light, but not too bright of a theme. It's kind of subdued. But this is Dolphin File Manager over here. You've got your usual suspects. You've got your home folders here. And then you've got your desktop folders, info, licenses, installation, installed packages. You can check all that if you want to. And then go back to the home. And it does show your hidden files. If you want to turn those off, you can. Just click on Show Hidden Files right there. They're gone. It's just a nice, fast file manager that lets you get things done and stays out of your way. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then we're going to come up to the App Launcher. And we'll go down here, Development. You've got Compare. QT Assistant, Education, you have LibreOffice Math, Games, you got K Patience, Graphics, you got Ocular, LibreOffice, Gwynview, you can get GIMP if you want to, you just go download it over in Octopi. Internet, you've got Falcon for your web browser, IM Contacts, KDE Connect, and then you have C File, which is a desktop sync client. Multimedia, you got Alyssa, MPV Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder, SM Tube, Office, you have the LibreOffice Suite. Settings. Let's go over to system settings and system settings loads up. Let's go ahead and drag this in the middle. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. And then, of course, you could switch to a dark theme. Let's apply that. And the dark theme has been applied. And if you come over here, you can change everything from appearance, workspace behavior, window management, shortcuts, startup and shutdown, search, notifications, all the way down to about this system. Let's go ahead and open that up. 
And then right here, it lets us know that we're on KDE version 5.23.4. KDE Frameworks is 5.89. QT version is 5.15.2. And then kernel version is 5.14.21. So like I said, you can come over here. You can customize this any way you want to. You can make it look however you want. Just really create something that is yours. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Go back over to the app menu. And then down to system, you got Dolphin, Info Center, Console, Octopi, Pac-Man Log Viewer, if you should have some trouble there, welcome. And that is pretty much its restart shutdown. Guys, that's a look at Chaos Linux. It's definitely a great independent distribution. I love the fact that all the packages you get are built for or by Chaos. I mean, you can't beat that. It integrates everything, makes everything fit real well, and it's not depending on another distribution for anything that it might need. Linux from scratch, I don't think you can beat it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in my next video.